And now going to the lead, it is Schrader. But Martha's Schrader. not giving up, and here comes Bobby Allison coming down low. Allison is on the low move. Keith, they're still showing him a lap down, I believe. Check it and see if Allison is a lap down. I thought he unwound himself earlier. He is still a lap down. He is now back on the lead lap, see, so that he does not show up on the board, but he has been very much a factor in this whole thing. The leader right now is Ken Schrader. White flag is out. They're in the final lap. Number 90, Ken Schrader. Dave Marcus could not hold him off as Schrader took the uh, hard route going down low like that and battling through the low lane. They've got Bobby Allison posted uh, as winning the race right now. I thought so, Keith. I thought he was only one lap down. Well, that's a complete redo, Mike. That has to be a redo right there. Look, 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 look. Car number 90 is turning and flipping, going into the wall, and that takes out at least three other cars. He looked like a tire might have blown as they came down for the finish line, and Ken Schrader's automobile gets sideways and turns over and comes sliding on its top down the racetrack. Schrader inside the car, the camera still working. As he takes the wheel, throws it out the window, and will climb out of it as the car turned upside down, keeps skittering down the racetrack, and he's going to walk away from it. And Bobby Allison has won the Firecracker 400. Keith, I tell you, he did a well of a job. He came all the way to the back of that pack, and 